Hello and welcome back to City Skylines where today we will be expanding our city building an efficient intersection, layout, building neater tunnels, planning future transport and finally plotting residential and commercial area with service buildings with decorations and the most efficient way. There is a lot to cover in today's episode so let's get started. Initially let's start by building a service intersection which uses only one time traffic light it is very easy to build since there seems to be a massive hill next to us. Let's make a tunnel for a more realistic look. Build a service bridge above the highway. Now downgrade the highway from where you would want a off ramp to be built. This optimizes lane which results in a smooth flow of traffic in which an individual lane to turn is given. Use dirt roads to measure out equal distances for off ramps for aesthetical purpose. Now from the center of the node, build 4 connections in which 2 goes in and 2 goes out. And finally, build the highway ramps from the highways to the connection points and you should get something like this. You might have noticed that this intersection only uses one time traffic light instead of two synchronized ones and you could further optimize this using six lane roads on the base rather than four uh, lane roads. I will be expanding to the six lane road if uh, required in the future. Let's see what kind of traffic do we get from the city. And you might have also noticed that this is only a three phase time traffic light rather than four. So this saves time and is very cost effective as well. Moving on, let's uh, look at the layout for the city. So with any layouts, what I recommend doing is separate the main roads, the collector roads with the sub roads. So you don't want any buildings in the main road. Build some sub roads alongside it 
and build some connections towards it not many few uh, in different spots so that you don't get a lot of traffic in the future and I also recommend uh, you doing some cool designs like uh, the circular ones the corner ones uh, because you might be bored with the grid patterns and when you do build grids, uh, I, re I recommend you leaving a big space uh, in some of the grids because some of the service buildings, they are very big, so they won't fit in. I would like to get rid of the train line alongside the bridge front so to do that I want to build a tunnel. For a more realistic way for doing it uh, I would take up a tunnel, some land and build a tunnel from the hole and add in some key walls later to make it look nice. continue with the uh, road layout for the other side now I won't be uh, filling every single area in this episode today but what I like to do is I like to plan my roads earliest just so that I could get an idea on where I could put my transport hub where I could put monorails trains metros and end up getting changed uh, as I progress just to get a hint just to get an idea on what thing so ultimately it helps you with planning the city.
I ended up making the bridge a six lane road so that uh, I could get the traffic flowing faster and I might even add a slip lane from the highway ramp for right hand turns because that turn is quite difficult to make otherwise it's very good it's very efficient it only has three phase So with that we come to an end guys please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day and stay tuned for the future episode for this city.